posted by throwaway 71294729. Am I the butthole? For calling my niece out on her fit girl lifestyle. I 21F and my niece 21F, I'll call her Eve of course, not her real name, have always been very close. She is my best friend and I love her to bits. Both of us are slightly overweight, thus since around September 2022 I've been making a lot of lifestyle changes and have lost a significant amount of the weight. Eva is also doing her best to lose weight, it was something we planned on doing together. I've been trying to get her to go to the gym with me, or go on walks but she always tells me she either does not have time or is with her boyfriend that day. Instead her little brother 16 male has been going with me. I am really proud of him as he struggled with a lot of the same issues that come with being overweight. Eva has been posting about her fit girl lifestyle on her social media for a while now, which would be totally awesome if she wasn't going through the McDonald's driveway with her boyfriend almost every day and her brother hadn't flat out told me she fixed most of the posts. I've never commented on it before and I really wasn't planning to, it's her life and she is allowed to do whatever she wants. Last Saturday, we decided to have a family dinner. Everything was all fine until Eva made a comment on how much I was eating. Something along the lines of Jesus, no wonder you've lost so much weight if that's all you're eating. I ate a very normal portion of food, potatoes, some veggies and salmon. During the dinner, she kept making small comments on both me and her brother and how we were eating too little, working out too much and how we would probably develop eating disorders. I got pretty mad after a while and said well maybe if you stopped eating all those my chicken burgers and actually joined us for once you would feel less insecure, then you'd have real content to post on your social something along those lines. The table fell kinda silent and Eva started crying saying she was doing all she could in your and brother's weight loss is so triggering for me. She decided to go to her room and her boyfriend said I had been too harsh on her. Eva did not come back to the table and everyone was pretty quiet after. After we got home my aunt texted that I should apologize to Eva for being mean. I told her I would apologize if she would as well to both me and her little brother for the comments she made as they hurt me as well. Eva does not want to and won't talk to me as long as I won't apologize. Her brother and my mom are on my side but aunt and uncle are mad that I won't do it. Am I the butthole? Little edit, I've posted this a very short while ago but I'll let you all know I'll be sending her a text. She hurt my feelings and I've hurt hers as well. It was all very in the moment as this has been going on for a while for months. Every time we hang out there's been at least one comment I don't wish to fight with her and I'll be letting her know that I was too harsh as I was very fed up with the BS. I'll be telling her I am sorry but I won't go begging for an apology from her. I'll be taking the high road here, thanks to all here for making me see that. It it too, I'll let you all know she responded to my text and she also said she was sorry. I wasn't really expecting her to but she did. We plan a luch plus shopping trip and we'll be talking it out more then. Thank you all so much again for the replies as they've given me a load of insight. And now to the comments. A comment from Relative Effect. Not the butthole. She's trying to make all about her. You and her bro have worked really hard and she feels like it's a slight against how your mere presence being thinner is triggering. You absolutely should not apologize. In fact, she should for trying to guilt trip you. When Guardian is commented. Not the butthole. She started it and you told her the truth in her face. It's time for her to actually change her lifestyle and stop faking and lying herself. Who cares for social media is anyway, she is only lying to herself. Also, you said she is your niece, but her mother is your aunt. How? Dr. Pepper and Chill commented. I am going to say not the butthole, Vlad. You should have handled it better. Your reaction isn't surprising, but sometimes as we get older we learn the value of being the better person. I would like to offer one piece of advice. I think you should apologize first. Not because you are in the wrong, but because someone has to be the better person. If you don't, this could drag out for longer than you think. Artificial likes to add. Not the butthole. She's got to put in actual work if she wants to see results, not just lie about what she eats and does. A comment from Gravegirl48 Not the butthole, you have nothing to apologise for, you were only telling the truth she on the other hand was making wild comments to you and her brother accusing you of possibly getting an eating disorder, but you have to apologise cause doing things that make you healthy trigger her. If then I am so tired of people using the excuse I am triggered so I can't be respectful, polite and keep my mouth shut but God forbid you say anything to her. 
Live your life. I know you used to be best friends, but I don't see it lasting if you continue to get healthy while she does not. To the next post. Posted by Throwaway of Million, 848,387. Am I the butthole? For taking up two seats on a bus? I ride the bus because I can't afford a car, insurance, gas, etc. I am 19F and live in the US. For context. A couple days ago, I was on a bus that wasn't that busy. Not empty, but there were multiple unused seats and no one had to stand. I had just gone shopping and had heavy bags that were hard to carry and hardly fit in front of my legs. So I sat in one seat and placed my bags in the seat next to me, essentially taking up two seats on my own. Since it wasn't crowded when I got on, I didn't see an issue and like I said, the bags were super heavy and hard to carry so I wanted to set them down. The bus ride was kind of long and as it went on more and more people got on the bus. It eventually got pretty crowded to the point where some people had to stand up. I didn't ever move my bag or offer the seat to someone. In my experience, most people don't want to sit next to strangers anyway and a lot of the time people will end up standing instead of sitting in an empty seat next to someone they don't know. Also, no one said anything to me. At the last stop ended at the bus station where pretty much everyone was getting off someone passive aggressively told me you could have moved your bag and not been inconsiderate and rude. Everyone wants to sit not just you. Or something along those lines. I didn't really respond because I didn't know what to say. The person who said that never asked me to move my stuff and if they did I probably would have. So I don't understand how I was being rude. They could have asked during the ride instead of insulting me after it was already done. Buses are also generally first come first serve so I think my behavior was normal. Am I the butthole? And now to the comments. Our phone cover likes to add. You're the butthole if there is no seat more effing bag lol. How can you ride it and think you are not? A comment from background lab minus 4896. You're the butthole. You don't wait for someone to ASK you to do the right thing. Peeping Tomatoes likes to add. you the butthole. Once the bus started getting more crowded to the point where people were standing, you should have moved your bags. You shouldn't need to be asked to do so, it's just common courtesy. A comment from Frogmuffins. you the butthole. You saw the bus was full and didn't move your bags. That's exactly what rude assholes do. A comment from Kiyukiye on 104. You the butthole. I would have asked you to move the bag, but not everyone is comfortable with that situation with a stranger. What if they asked you and you said no? It would create an awkward situation for them. Not everyone wants to risk an awkward situation with a stranger in a confined space like a bus. You shouldn't expect someone to have to ask you. If the bus is crowded, you don't take up more than one seat. Period. You weren't the butthole when the bus had multiple empty seats. But once more people get on you, be mindful and put the bags on your lap or the floor. Or at the very least, offer the seat to people standing next to you, then maybe keep your bag there if they say no. A beer and a book commented. You're the butthole. Once it gets crowded, you move the bags of your own volition. It's a courtesy and used to be normal bus riding etiquette. Express Powder commented. You're the butthole. As soon as you saw people standing, you had to move your bags. You don't need anyone to say that to you. In my experience, most people don't want to sit next to strangers anyway. They take public transportation, it is bound to happen. You had to make the seat available, not assume what people would want. GSC Team Av likes to add. You're the butthole and you know it. It's fine to have your stuff on the seat when the bus is empty, but you can use basic courtesy when people are standing without a seat available. You're even worse for your comment that if they asked you probably would have moved your things. Probably. Get over yourself. To the next post. Posted by Olian. Am I the butthole? For not allowing my guests to eat fruits in my house? Miven to Nine and Uncle and his family have traveled from abroad, and during their visit to my city, we've made arrangement for them to stay at our home so we can spend family time together since I am very close to them. They have preference for healthy eating and enjoy having fruits as snacks, especially peaches since it's the start of peach season over here. 
My wife 24 is allergic to various fruits and peaches trigger the most severe reaction. Even though she never eat them, but if they are nearby, or if someone with peach residue on their hands comes into contact with her she develops allergic symptoms like skin and eye redness, irritation and begins to sneeze. That's the reason I've stopped eating peaches and we never bring them home. Recently, without our knowledge, my aunt and cousin bought peaches and put them in the fridge. When I saw them, I immediately threw them out in the garbage before my wife could get home. When they find out, they got upset and angry with me. I explained to them that what I told them about her allergies is serious and they can't just bring home the things that can make her sick despite being aware. My uncle told me it was very rude of me as a host to restrict what they want to eat. And my aunt who basically raised me thinks I've forgotten my manners. Am I the butthole? What do you think? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. And now to the comments. A comment from Dreaming Garfali. Not the butthole good guests do not poison the host. No scientist 7086 commented. Not the butthole your own call can get over it. Astroprof commented. You are not the butthole. It is not just root, it is a physical threat to bring fruits which cause severe allergies into the home of your host in particular after the host has made that clear. Presumably, exposure would send your wife to the hospital. When the stakes are so high, your uncle and his family should be immediately given the option to stay elsewhere or respect the requirements of a healthy home. And if they purposely violate it again, kick them out. Allergies are no joke. No Yaminus 1231 likes to add. Not the butthole, I cannot stress enough that bringing food into a home that you know someone is allergic to is the poorest manners I can imagine. There is no excuse for this. It is dangerous and hugely selfish. Tell them to respect your wife's serious medical condition or get a hotel. Quack Quack that commented. Not the butthole, but you need to go a bit further than this. Be blunt with them. What's rude is to bring home something that will make one of your hosts ill on purpose. If they cannot accept your hospitality and respect your home because the idea of not eating peaches for a few days is that important to them, then that's unfortunate and they are not going to be able to stay at your house. Tell them to take an hour to think about it and decide if they are going to apologise, admit bringing the peaches into your home was not acceptable, and drop the attitude about it, or if they would prefer to go and find a hotel. Those are their options, and you shouldn't force them as calmly as you are able. We didn't realise that bringing peaches into the house was a deal breaker for you, or we wouldn't have offered to host. It's been lovely seeing you up until this. We hope you enjoy the rest of your trip, and let me know if you need me to help you find transport to the hotel. To the next post. Posted by Jen Shanks. Am I the butthole? For prioritising my wife over my own mom on Mother's Day. A 38 male have been married to my wife 36 female for 12 years. We have two daughters, 10 and 3. We both come from divorced families, and all of our parents have since remarried though my mom's second husband passed away a couple years ago. My wife's parents are no longer local, but my mom and dad both live in the same metro area as us. I have a very good relationship with my dad and stepmom and they are our sole support for helping out with the girls. My mom and I have an up and down relationship as a result of a lot of things over a lot of years. Nothing excessive, annoying stepdad, drug addict brother, grandparent hood not meeting her expectations. My mom also does not come by contentness easily. After years of running around to try and accommodate everyone, lately I don't always put in the effort I should with her because often the effort isn't appreciated anyway. So for Mother's Day this year I wanted to give my wife the day. But I didn't want to pressure her with coming up with a rigid plan. I asked her Friday if she wanted brunch or dinner made and to let me know what she wanted to do with her day when she knew. I mentioned I would take the girls to see all their grandparents in the middle of day so she could have the house to herself if she wanted the peace or we could do something as a family. Again, no pressure, just let me know as we go and I'll make it happen. She tells me Saturday brunch sounds good, so Sunday morning the girls and I run to the store for supplies, make brunch, set out the gifts. We eat and play for a bit and the wife mentions I could take the girls. I call out stepmom and wish her a happy Mother's Day and ask if she's around. She is, so the girls and I stop by for a visit. Then I call my mom and I can tell by how she answers the phone she's annoyed. 
I wish her a happy Mother's Day and ask if she is available for a visit. She is at her sister's for brunch and won't be home until later when the 10-year-old has activities. Fast forward to Monday and I get a text from my wife that my mom had sent a screenshot of my wife's post on social sharing about her day and told her she had a terrible day and didn't feel the love from anyone. So Reddit, am I the butthole? For prioritizing my wife having a full day over doing something for my own mom. And now to the comments. Grinch is my idol commented. Not the butthole, your mother just seems to be upset she isn't the center of attention. A comment from Hotwind6062. Not the butthole. You rang up your mum and asked if she was free to see you and your children. Additionally, your wife and child are your family. All mothers should be celebrated, new and old. You did that. Temporary Moose Minus 6933 likes to add. Not the butthole. Your mother sounds like an insufferable drama queen. A comment from Hollow 543. Not the butthole you did offer a visit. She was unavailable. She shouldn't complain about that, especially not to your wife. A comment from Fuck USA Politics. Not the butthole. Your wife is your literal life partner and the bearer of your children. Of course you are going to prioritize her. Even then, it's not like you purposefully excluded her. You invited to spend time with her. Nindrithelatin commented. Not the butthole. You should be prioritizing your wife slash mother of your children for Mother's Day. I've seen way too many entitled older mothers in the sub that expect to be put first. You called her, you offered to visit, she turned you down. It's not like you forgot her. She sounds like she's trying to manufacture drama, don't give in and enable this behavior. A comment from Wanna Bite. Everybody sucks here except your wife. Your plan for your wife was lovely, but it did mean that you kind of expected that your mom and stepmom would be waiting around for you to decide what you were doing. I think it would have been kinder for you to arrange a visit on Saturday so at least they knew what was happening. A comment from Shadow Fox. Not the butthole your mom had her time with her kids, now it is your wife's turn to have a nice day. You offered to see her, she was already busy. I really feel that Mother's Day is so overdone and so much pressure. To the next post. Posted by Sensitive Visual 9341. Am I the butthole for telling my my mom she's going to turn into a bitter, lonely old woman on Mother's Day? My mom has me 16th. I am her only child. But she has been a stepmom to my half siblings for 20 years now. My half siblings' mom died, and our dad met my mom three years after, and they got married. My half siblings hate my mom. She always deluded herself into believing she is their mother and that they care about her. I remember her always trying to reach them and being rejected, sometimes harshly and sometimes they just ignored her. Both my half-sister and half-brother are married with babies now. Neither of them invited mom or me to their weddings. Dad got a solo invite and didn't go. My mom has never actually met their babies. She sent them each a package when they first were born and they were promptly sent back with the stuff destroyed. I asked mom not to make Mother's Day plans so I could plan something, and she agreed. Mother's Day came and she was gone before I woke up. I couldn't get through to her on the phone. At like knew my dad said his son had called, and she had shown up at my half-siblings' houses trying to spend the day with them and trying to show that they still had a mother on Mother's Day. They kicked her out but stayed the whole day. I had spent money on a couple of mom's favorite places to make sure we could go and I lost that. I had both a bought and handmade gift that were left sitting there too. By the time it got to fall from my toe, the wrapping off the gift I bought, found the receipt and decided to return it yesterday after school. I got more and more mad and she finally got home at like 8 p.m. and I asked her where she had been and she told me she was showing her older kids and grandkids that she loved them and was there. I asked her how many times she had to be told she was not their mom or their kid's grandmother for her to get it. She told me I couldn't possibly understand at 16. I asked her about the stuff I had planned and she told me it was no big deal and I could give her the gifts. But that she needed to be there for her older babies and it was just a homemade dinner I had planned for her. I told her it wasn't told her all about the stuff I had planned for her and she told me to rebook and we try to get my siblings involved and make it a real celebration. 
I told her she had a child who loved and wanted to celebrate her and instead she went chasing after two grown adults who never wanted a thing to do with her. She told me she now planned to spend the day with me and was always going to seek out her other children. I tossed the gift I made into the fire in front of her and she told me I was being so childish and I had to share her rather than being a spoiled selfish little madam. I told her she is going to end up bitter and lonely one day and I won't be there when it finally sinks and that my half siblings will never accept her. I told her I am not going to be anyone's consolation prize. Mom yelled at me for the disrespect and she and dad told me I was out of line yesterday. Am I the butthole? And now to the comments. Fruit Spins likes to add. Not the butthole. I feel for your mom, but she has completely missed the point. She has a daughter that loves her and she rejected your gifts before you even gave them. And she does not see the irony of getting mad your half-siblings ignored her when she ignored you all day. No. Hit your education, hit a job, and move the F away from her you're right. She will realize one day that she pushed you away herself. OP likes to add. She did. That's the thing. It's not like she's a childless woman without my half-siblings. She has me and I have loved her for 16 years and I have tried to be a good daughter to her. But it was never me she wanted. Stumbog when C20 commenters. Not the butthole though of this is a tough one. People want what they cannot have. Your mom seeks their love because she cannot have it. Your love is in her back pocket. You need to get yourself and your mom into therapy as soon as you can. Your mom already has issues and she is causing you issues. My heart goes out to you. OP commented. I can get therapy in a couple of years, but I am not putting more energy into making my mom feel better when I am not good enough for it. She really showed me that she does not give a crap about being my mom or the fact I love her. All she wants is the two kids she cannot have. A comment from Inset 1001. Not the butthole. She told me I couldn't possibly understand at 16. I'm 60. You understand perfectly. She is the one who does not get it. This sub is swamped with kids and adult kids who have suffered from step parents trying to enforce family intimacy. Jukulian666 likes to add Not the butthole you told her not to make plans or do anything. She is absolutely deluded and is going to lose everyone with her ridiculous behaviour, including you. She threw you to the curb like you are a second thought, all to chase people that want nothing to do with her. Emotionally, ID cut your losses now because she's not going to change. Admirable Avocado likes to add Not the butthole. Make sure you get into therapy once you turn 18 and cut contact with her. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you want more of this content, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell. I wish you a great day.